Our last vlog saw us completing the North Oxford Canal and finishing at Hawkesbury Junction. The Coventry Canal wends its way north, being interrupted briefly by the Birmingham and Faisley, finishing at Fradley Junction. The stop lock at Hawkesbury is typical. The drop is only seven inches and its sole purpose was to ensure that water and boats could not pass freely from one canal company's waters to another. Our first task on leaving is to negotiate the infamous 180 degree turn. We decided to spend a couple of days moored at Marston Junction. This is where the beautiful Ashby Canal joins. The weather forecast was beautiful, so it gave us a chance to explore the Ashby Canal by kayak. Here's Rob managing to not fall in again. Mm -hmm. Hello. And under the bridge. And appearing on the other side. Where we see the commentary canal. And Kip's going to take the boat, the kayak back to the boat. Cleaning the chimney day. On this glorious, gosh, it's beautiful middle of the summer day really but it's really the only the end of March. Rob's cleaning the chimney out and I'm sat in the sun supervising. Hello it's Good morning. sometime the end of March and it's the weather is beautiful. Yes, yeah, the 31st of March, I think. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah, a nice eight, day. My eight hat's feeling, I think tomorrow. my head must have grown. My hat's feeling a bit small. <laughs> First time to get the sun hat. Got lockdown head. Lockdown head. Um, <laughs> and we have just left uh, Marston Junction, which is where the Ashby Canal meets <laughs> the Coventry. And we're heading up the Coventry because we need to pump out today. Um, uh, so we'll stop in Nuneaton about a couple of miles up. Uh, and then we'll go on beyond there and find a mooring spot quite near a water point, hopefully. So yeah. we can uh, yeah. 
ready to fill up again. So it's great to be it's the most out on a sunny day. Weather. We I mean, just had a, there's not a cloud in the sky. We just had a problem with the prop, which um, no, will either no doubt be in the vlog before this or after this, probably after this. Um, so we just had to clean the prop off of uh, uh, an old sack. Why wouldn't it be in this one? I said it, no, it would be in this one before yes. or after me talking. Oh, I not see. So I thought you meant before or after the. <laughs> no. You're not very clear. <laughs> so. That's it, that's our day for today. Yeah. Beautiful, it's just lovely to be out in the sun, isn't it? After all those months of being cooped up, horrible weather. You're just talking now. I am, just rubbishing <laughs> on, so I'll shut up. Bye. Bye. Morning. <laughs> we've had a bit of trouble this morning and... We just set off from... Uh, that's what we've pulled off the prop. Near Marston Junction. And... The boat was feeling very sluggish and not responsive, not responsive to steering and very sluggish. It's obviously working hard and that normally means, hopefully no, en not engine problems, normally means there's something around the prop, <laughs> which you sure access. Enough, there was. Oh, hang on. Let's go down here. This is, this is called the weed hatch <laughs> and right it's under not here. because you wee in it. Right under here is the propeller shaft, so you, it's an easy way to access the propeller, which I can now feel, and I can feel, I can turn it easily now. Good. So, I think that was it. Good move, good. We're approaching Nuneaton, on our way to a marina for a compound, coming across this amazing weeping willow. Such a pretty colour foliage this time of year. Rob now with here's Rob now with the right hat. Apparently I got the wrong hat now earlier. Easy mistake. This one is different because it, it's ventilated. Oh. So it's uh, and it looked a less a bit less posh and, yes. and uh, pompous. We laughed when we saw these flags. One says it's five o'clock somewhere, but the other one says the bar is open. Here's a cow having a paddle. Before we reach Atherston, we pass Hart's Hill Wharf. Built in the 1840s, it was once a hive of activity and is now a CRT yard. Not that the CRT aren't busy too. Once famed for bowler hats, Atherston is also known for its medieval football match commemorated in this statue. It's played every Shrove Tuesday with shopkeepers boarding up their windows. Not surprising when you look at this picture. We found this amazing spot to moor just outside Atherston, the perfect place to enjoy a Guinness. looking at that trampoline there and thinking if you did one wrong bounce you'd end up in the canal. Beautiful magnolia.
we next moor in Polesworth, famed for its abbey, and a rare chance to practice our tennis. Turns out we needed it. This piece of artwork, called Goldleaf at Buried Sunlight, is 40 foot tall and stands in Pooley Country Park. There's the right mass too. Good morning. Good morning. And a happy Easter to all. Happy Easter, it's Easter it's Sunday. Sunday. It's a beautiful sunny day. The last one I think for a while because it's supposed to um, <clears throat> be cold enough to snow I think next week which is very bizarre but there you go. Um, so we've been at Holsworth for a few days now. Um, <clears throat> it's lovely here. We moored right next to um, a park where there's some tennis courts so we've been playing tennis at my the uh, shops here. We've been trying to hit the well, ball. Well, we were hitting, trying to hit the ball backwards and forwards. <laughs> but, you know, it's been really fun and it's a lovely place. Really nice. His name is Polesworth. If you're ever passing through here, I would recommend a stop. Next to Tam Tamworth. Yeah, and we're now heading on to. The other side of Tamworth. Faisley Junction. Past right? Faisley Junction. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're, not go we're not going very far, sticking by the rules, but we're water. going to get water and we're staying local. So we'll keep you updated. Just outside of Polesworth, you catch glimpses through the trees of Pooley Hall. It's a 16th century Gothic style, grade one listed building. Paisley Junction. 